collinear or parallel vectors. Collinear or parallel vectors, they can be in the three sense here, that is number one. If there is a line L equal to zero and on those there is a vector A bar and there is a vector B bar on it, then A bar and B bar lies on a line, then we say the two vectors are collinear. So we can say that if A bar comma B bar are two vectors such that number one, A bar comma B bar both lies on a line L equal to zero, then A bar comma B bar are said to be collinear vectors. This is the one case where A and B lies on a line L equal to zero. In second case that if A bar and B bar are two vectors like that, they are on two different lines L1 and L2 which are parallel. So A bar and B bar lying on them, then we say that they are parallel vectors. That is, if L1 equal to 0 and L2 equal to 0 are two parallel lines and upon which A bar comma B bar are two vectors lying on L1 equal to 0 and L2 equal to 0 respectively. Then we say A bar comma B bar are collinear or coplanar. This is point number two. Whenever there are two lines which are parallel here, L1 is parallel to L2. Then on L1, A bar lies on L2, B bar lies. Then we say A and B bar are parallel vectors. So third case is, observe this animation that if A bar and B bar as they are represented by the directed line segment, if themselves they are parallel, then we say A bar and B bar are collinear or parallel vectors. Implies if, that is third point is, if A bar comma B bar are represented by the directed line segment and themselves A bar and B bar are parallel, that implies we can say A bar and B bar are collinear or parallel. So here finally what we conclude is in the case of first one if A bar B bar lie on a line. In the case of second one if A bar B bar lie on two lines which are parallel. And number three if A bar B bar are self parallel themselves they are parallel. In all these three cases we can say simply A bar is collinear or parallel vector. So A bar comma B bar are said to be collinear or parallel vectors for these three conditions which are satisfied by the two vectors. Next let us do the co-initial vectors. Observe this animation related to this particular concept. If A is a point and AB bar is a vector, AC bar is a vector, AD bar is a vector and AE bar is a vector. For all these four vectors the initial point is only A. So therefore, this is the initial point for all these four vectors. We can say that these vectors are co-initial. That is, if two or more vectors existing with a initial point and a different terminal points, then we can say those vectors are co-initial. That is, AB bar is one vector, AC bar is other vector, AD bar is another vector, AE bar is vector. So these are co-initial vectors, initial point will be coincided and they will designate a plane and they are all can be coplanar also, can be coplanar. Next coplanar vectors, if two vectors are non-collinear then they will design a plane that is two or more vectors which are non-parallel that is intersecting, in fact intersecting. When they are non-parallel intersecting employees they will design a plane, they designate a plane. When they designate a plane, then if third vector lies along with them, then they are all coplanar vectors. Observe the animation related to this concept that this is vector having same initial point and these three are non-collinear. So if they design a plane and a plane passing through all these vectors, hence these vectors are said to be the coplanar as they design this plane point. So therefore we can say the coplanar vectors, two or more vectors which are non-parallel will design a plane, remaining vectors lie in that one. Then we say that is the plane here. This plane is decided by these two vectors say A bar and B bar. If there is a vector within this C bar, we can say A bar, B bar, C bar are coplanar. So to check the condition of coplanarity, you require minimum number of vectors is 3. To check the condition of non-collinearity or Collinearity only we have at least two vectors whereas for coplanarity there should be three vectors. Next let us discuss the coterminal vectors. Obvious that coterminal vectors means the vectors whose terminal point is coinciding like A P bar has P terminal point, B P bar has P terminal point, C P bar has P terminal point and D P bar is having 
p terminal point so therefore co terminal vectors means the vectors with the same terminal point are said to be co terminal vectors that is about co terminal vectors having the same terminal point like a p bar and here b p bar and c p bar and d p bar these are co terminal vectors see as they are also non collinear then a p bar and b p bar and c p bar and d p bar they lie in a plane this is about co terminal vectors